Hello everyone, so I'm back for another doll review and today I have the lovely Miss Margot de Perla from the Pacific Coast line of Rainbow High, the latest line that came out. So she is a stunning pastel fantasy doll, so if you're into that, she's definitely for you. So I'll go over all her accessories first and then I'll go over the doll. So she does come with a really big pastel towel and it's pretty much the size of her so you have all these pastel like ombre-ish tie-dye colors and they actually match the, um, the bandana hat that she wears so it has the like belt design detail on there. Here is her bandana hat and it's stretchy iridescent pearly material and uh, it's got iridescent printing on there with a belt these two parts are supposed to be separated but there's still a plastic tab in there that I haven't taken out there's also velcro in the back right there she comes with a stand and a comb that is, I believe, the same as the white-haired Amaya doll, but the only difference is there's bigger glitter chunks, like glitter pieces in the plastic. So, it's a little bit more dramatic. She comes with this actual fabric bag that has drawstrings on it. Lots of really nice detail. Her sunglasses actually do fit in there, too, so. And she can actually, like she can actually hold it so yeah and it says rainbow paris on there with two r's in the middle very chic and designer-esque um her shoes have pearls on the bottoms or heels with pearls and there's lots of glitter the pearls look like crystal balls which is really pretty and it says rain bow so rain on one and bow on the other um, she actually does have nail polish on it's kind of like winter break violets but it's more pearly it's kind of hard to see it but she does have nail polish on there she has this beach wrap at the bottom that forms into this like interesting looking bow and then she has some bikini bottoms on under there, some ba basic ones that match the top. This says RH right there. So yeah, and this material is like swimsuit material and it's got the pearls. She's got the bikini top that's kind of a sweetheart cut at the top with spaghetti straps. There's iridescent printing on it that I believe says rainbow. There's a peekaboo area right here. And then there's this pendant right here that has two R's. I did put a bracelet from an OMG on her, so, because I thought it really matched her nicely, her aesthetic. She has these sunglasses that have an ombre effect. And they can actually go on her eyes and stuff, like they go around her ears, but I will take them off to show you. So yeah, here's what they look like. Very chic and... They kind of give me early 2000s vibes. And the little circular parts right there have glitter on them. That sparkles, different colors. So yeah. And that's what they look like. She does come with an extra pair of legs for having heeled feet and uh, flat feet. I'm not putting these on her because I prefer her in the heeled feet so she can wear her shoes. And I just like the way heeled feet look better. But I'm saving these in case I find one second hand that needs legs. Like, you might find some of these second hand one day that's missing a leg or both of them. So, definitely good to hang on to these. The only problem, my, my doll did have some defects. I'm not even sure if it's a defect, but like this leg stays on better. And this one pops off more easily. So, but yeah, and I put the other legs on her and the same thing happened. So I'm assuming it's a um, defect with the, the peg that hooks into 
the leg so I don't know but yeah that's her outfit underneath she does have some she has white painted on panties under there standard rainbow high articulation knees wrists elbows and shoulder she does have the neck articulation that all the newer dolls have so yeah she has a new head mold, a 2021 head mold, so her jawline is much slimmer and everything. Love that. And as for her hair, she was the one I saw, she was the one I wanted from the promo pictures that I saw when the, when the uh, promo picture came out. And um, I thought she only had like blue and purple hair, but she doesn't. She has a lot more colors. It's like a um, pastel rainbow, kind of. So she's got like the, the lilac and the soft blue, but she also has like mint in there, like mint colors and like pastel pink. She has tinsel, she does have tinsel in her hair. And I will say that it does grab on to a brush and a comb and stuff when you first get her. Um, it's a weird kind of tinsel that has fibers stuck to it like little um here's one right here i think no that's actually a piece of tinsel um but there's actually little crimpy hair fibers stuck to the individual tinsel strands and when you go to brush the hair they kind of separate they start separating from the tinsel the little fibers do and that's what causes the pulling and all that of the tinsel so that's something you have to be aware of is it is that kind of tinsel there's other kinds that doesn't have the um little fibers stuck to it i don't know why companies that make tinsel do that but there's been several like i've got dolls that are older than this doll and they have the same thing um, like from the 90s, I have dolls like that, and um, the tinsel just separates, and it's really weird how it does that. But yeah, she does have a lot of co more colors in her hair. Now, she her hair rooting, on the ones that I've seen, it's pretty dense, except mine, another defect mine had was she did have a bald spot right there. But I wound up taking hair from a OMG... So she has the, um, the OMG had some like lilac metallic hair and I used, I harvested some plugs off of her and rooted it in there. But there was like a dime sized bald spot where there wasn't any hair rooted. So I rooted that into her head so she could have more. As for her face, I will take her down here. So you can get a better look at her makeup, but she was kind of the hardest one for me to find in store. Um, they got the they got a few of the other ones out, like they got Phaedra and Hallie, and then there was another one I can't remember her name with the natural hair color, and I didn't really want those ones. She was the main one I wanted, and she was like the last one my target got. Um, I went there three different times asking about this doll. And it said that they had had her on the floor, like on shelves, because um, I was going to ask if they could look in back to see if they had, hadn't taken them out yet. And um, they said they were out, and the third time I went back, they had four of them. So the people at Target were very helpful with helping me find her. And they had like four of her that I was able to choose the one I liked the most and the one I chose had the more frosty, paler looking lips. So yeah, she's got really pretty natural like peachy lips with shimmer, a really frosty shimmer. She has blush and like Daphne Minton, she has freckles, which I absolutely love. She has, of course, the acrylic inset eyes with the lashes. They're not rooted in. The lashes on these are actually, like, glued to the eyeball. As sort of a, like, false lash. So it's basically a false lash that they glue to the top before they pop the eye in. 
But yeah, she's got like this, this very soft, smoky eye look. It's very, very pretty. And there's like the gray in there. The smoky gray almost looks like a, a grayish purple. It's very interesting. There's so many different layers of eyeshadow to create a really neat effect. And my other complaint about her is her like glitter eyeshadow is kind of globbed on. But I do like that there is glitter eyeshadow. And she has gray, like silvery, like smoky colored brows to match her pastel aesthetic. So they didn't go with a natural brow for her. They made them a grayish color. And her eyes are new, I believe. They, I don't think we have another one that has eyes like her. So she has pretty much the same colors from her hair are in her eyes as well. So all those pastel colors from her hair are actually in her eyes too, which I'm absolutely all for. So yeah, anyway, yep, that is this gorgeous, gorgeous doll. And she does have a side part, so when you take the hat off of her, there is a side part under there. Um, one thing that kind of annoys me about some of the other ones is they don't have a rooted part line, so... So like this one, you couldn't even see her, her part line because it was covered by this. So they could have easily gotten away with, you know, not giving her a part line, but they did. But the other ones that had their hair in a ponytail and stuff or in an updo, they didn't give them a part line, which kind of makes styling the hair a little bit more difficult. But yeah. But that is Margot de Perla, which I just like to call her Perla, because I think Perla is a really pretty name. So, and yeah, I think I went over everything about her. So... Yeah, I'm not sure if I went over this bracelet, but yeah, the bracelet is from an OMG, but I thought it went with her. So yeah. But anyhow, that's my review over this beautiful Rainbow High doll. Thank you guys for watching. More videos to come, and remember to stay true to you.